Hello, my friends. Welcome to another English class. Let's see um, who is already connected. Here we have um, Maho, Morelia, Albert. We have also Brandon. So I know some of you are kind of busy. And especially for the traffic for tonight, it is kind of complicated everywhere, especially in San Salvador. It is like, a, it's a mess. The traffic jam is very complicated. So I understand if you are moving, but please let me know if you have some difficulties to participate in some activities that we have, especially the speaking one. So here we have, uh, for example, Roxana. Good evening, Roxana. Uh, are you Good there? Good evening, teacher. Hello, yes. everything okay? Yeah? Everything okay. Well, yesterday you have kind of short vacation, right? Yes. Cool, you and sleep how well? are you? I'm, I'm good, yes. thank you. Thank you. Uh, I had some really difficulties with the traffic jam and with some family stuff, but uh, everything okay, thank you. Um, okay. now, yeah, now tonight is kind of difficult to, to move because of the Black Friday, right? Yes. So, but, but yesterday, could you relax a little bit, Roxana, at night? Yeah. Yes, a little bit. Yes. Yeah. And I... today was very difficult because, uh, I do, I, two, two hours in traffic jam. I was in the traffic jam two hours. Come on, and and uh, normally, how much time do you take? One hour? One hour, hour, one hour and a half. Yeah, the, the, but the today bus. I yes, yes, it's when it, when it's very difficult. But today was terrible. Was yeah uh, yes, it was kind of terrible. Uh, I went to yeah to San Salvador near Metro Centro to in the afternoon, but yeah. Uh, I spent like two hours moving in uh, I, at five o'clock. Imagine. Now yeah. at, at, at night, it's worse. So I can imagine some other parts of, of El Salvador, especially the urban areas. But nice that you could sleep like earlier yesterday. I hope so. By the way, yes, thank you. I sleep early. Yeah, <laughs> some, uh, a short vacation in the middle of the week. Bye. The English classes are always good. Thank you. Yes. Um, okay. What about Maho? Hi, Maho. I'm here. Good evening. Um, mm -hmm. My only problem is I don't know what happened with my camera. It doesn't work. Um, really? Yes. Um, almost this week, at the beginning of this week. But today was a chill day. Um, I was working from home, so it's, more, it's better. Okay, nice, nice. Uh, but you said your camera is not working because maybe yesterday you tried to connect with some other video calls or for tonight? No, in, in this case is, um, how do you say mancha? Spot. Uh, it, There's it a, has spot. a spot. It looks as a green color. Okay. It looks terrible and ugly. Okay, okay. So sorry, I, I hope you can fix it, but well. Yes. Nice. Well, thank you, Maho. I, I like to hear that you are okay. Thank you. Okay, let's see who else. Morelia, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, hello, Morelia. How are you tonight? I'm fine. I had a, a good day. Really? Good day. Okay, nice. Did because you I... did you went did you go shopping? No, I Not went really. to work. <laughs> okay, but at but... work everything was okay. Yes, in the work, yes, uh, I'm a, I'm happy because today I was in, near to my house. Okay, I was working in the shop and in, in the veterinary in Apopa. Okay, so. I can arrive to my house very early. Oh, nice, nice. Yes. Okay, that's that's one of the best things you can do. Arrive home early. 
Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> You can change uh, your clothes, right? You can be comfortable with your sandals to lay on the sofa or a no, whatever. Yeah. Yes, I can so. cook my my dinner early. That's yeah, so and, and that's another positive point. Okay. Yeah. And what about yesterday? Did you have vacation? A, a good um, night. I had a, a good night, but. It was good because I I had to to wash my clothes. Okay. And I had a a busy night. Okay, good. Yeah, but you took advantage of the time. You say, okay, we have a free night. We can do a lot of things, right? Good. I yes. like it. I like it, Morelia. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Uh, here we have Vicky. Hello, Vicky. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Okay. How was your day? Mm, my day uh, was um, tired. <laughs> okay, tired. Okay. Uh -huh. I had a um, graduation. Oh, really? Graduation? And that's why, because of your son, a relative, a family member? No, me. <laughs> you? Okay, yes, tell us about uh, it. Tell us, come on. It was a diplomado. Okay, yes, mm -hmm. it was a degree. Mm -hmm. the, okay. The name is business um, in women. Oh, really? That's interesting. Yes. How much time did you <laughs> did, did it... Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, of course. That's more experience for your curriculum, definitely. Okay, yes. Vicky, and tell I, me how much. I would like to uh, have um, emprendimiento. <laughs> Entrepreneurship. Uh, that's Enter that word. What? <laughs> Entrepreneur. <laughs> okay. Look at this. Uh, this this word, it, it's really important for you to know it. Just like a general uh, culture. Let me see uh, what is going on here. Okay. Entrepreneur. Entrepreneur, emprendedor. Okay. Mm -hmm. Entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. I'm sorry. Entrepreneur. Entrepre entrepreneurship, emprendedurismo. Mm, y em Entre emprendimiento. Emprendimiento o emprendedurismo. Entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship. Ah, pues. I want, I want to have uh, entrepreneurship. Cada vez estoy agregando más letras. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> entrepreneur, entrepreneurship. Uh, nice. I guess you can have like a big, big idea about how to administer businesses. And that's really good. And you can apply this knowledge for other things, right? It is more yes. information for you. Or you can give advice. Puedes asesorar. You can, you can give advice to some other, yeah, uh, people, investments. Yes, it was, mm -hmm, was very interesting, the information. Yeah, definitely. Or, or on the cause, um, I don't know. How do you say? Um, Budget, presupuestos, uh, okay. uh, how to manage people, uh -huh. how to invest, um, uh, invertir, and how to obtain some, maybe, seed capital, sí, capital sí, semilla, sí. different maybe aspects. Maybe know the clientela, conocer okay. el segmento. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. okay. And even, and you can learn how to, how to develop, um, Customer net, como una red de clientes, como puedes, uh -huh. eh, pues, trabajar todos todo esos aspectos of that. Nice. Uh -huh. Congratulations. I like it. Thank you. Thank you, Vicky. Here we have also yeah. Freddy's. Hello. Freddy's always smiling. Hi. How are you tonight? Today was very day, teacher. Okay. Because... Tell me, because of the traffic or what? No, no problem. Is 
because it's almost the weekend. Yeah, remember <clears throat> Friday. It's a nice day, but yeah. also, but also, it's it's like if you have been accumulated uh, stress, tension, uh, you it is hard, right? So well, yeah. Come on, friends. It it's Friday. It's Friday, and the body knows it. The cuerpo lo sabe, right? Come on. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Nice place. Nice to see you. Thank you. Thank we you. have also Robert. I don't know if Robert is there. Good evening, teachers and Hello, classmates. Good evening. How are I'm you sorry. tonight? I'm sorry. Hello. I uh, we we has a problem with the traffic today. Okay, really? Did you take a lot of time? Yes. Uh, how much time? Five minutes. I'm sorry. Uh, five minutes. Five, really? Okay. Okay. That that's good. And come on, it is like um. But what about yesterday? Did you have some rest? Did you sleep earlier? Did you watch some movies or series because we didn't have classes? So yes, I I sleep early. Sleep yeah, early. nice, right? Yeah. We I have to say I need this rest. Yeah, definitely night. it is. Believe me. Um, sometimes when there is a model and we have vacations. Uh, in the middle of the model, a la mitad del módulo, I have noticed that the, the, the students are uh, they come back from the vacations with a very smiley, very, very with energy. It's yes. because we need some rest. And even yesterday, I know that th this week has been really hard for all of you. But so, yeah, nice. So it is a gift for you. Es mi regalo para ustedes. Yes, thanks. Ana, Ana, <laughs> okay, nice. It was necessary. <laughs> yeah, definitely it is. Thank you, Robert. And here we have some other, um, I hope you are okay. Let's uh, move with this. Here we have. Uh, we're going to talk about personal, personnel training vocabulary. When we say personnel, we talk about employees, okay? Uh, in Spanish is personal. But when you say something is personal, in your case, is when something, for example, you have difficulties with your family and you talk about that in your job, you can say, okay, I am going to explain you my personal war, uh, problems, okay? But when you say personal, it's about employees. En español, personal significa para cuestiones propias de nosotros y para personal Eh, equipo de trabajo. But in English, personnel is uh, employees and personal is something that it, it belongs to you. So this is the class number 21. Uh, intermediate number one. Okay, let's move to the ways to say. I hate. Yo odio. Something that you don't like, definitely. You can say, I can bear. I can bear, I know that bear is also, also like the animal, but in this case, I can bear is something that you can, yeah, you can stand, algo que no soportas. I can tolerate, I detest. This is a really good one, I detest. It annoys me. I can stand, I can stand. Personally, I prefer I can stand, I like it. Or I detest. But you can say I hate, I can bear, I can tolerate, I detest, it annoys me. So for this um for this attendance list, I need you to please uh say one of these phrases, but tell me something that you don't like, something that you detest. For example, I hate noisy neighbors, I can bear loud music. I can tolerate trash on streets. I detest gossip. Detesto el chambre. I detest gossip. Oh, si usted le gusta, I love gossip. Okay, that depends on you. Uh, you can say, it annoys me gossipers. Gossipers is chismosos. Okay, uh, I can stand people smoking. Um, I can bear nasty words, malas palabras. I can tolerate a, sh a shout, lights, a punctuality, 
creams, whatever. Okay, think about things that you don't like, you hate. Digan cosas que ustedes odian o no les parece, okay? I'm going to give you a couple of seconds to think about, and I'm going to check the uh, attendance list in a couple of seconds, okay? Okay, let's see if we start with Alex uh, Ramirez. I don't know if you're there, Alex. Ana Raquel? Okay, um, maybe Vicky? Hi. Um, hi. I can't um, trash on a, on a street and people smoking. Okay, I can bear or I can stand. Because mm -hmm. he said I can. Trash on a street. Okay. Okay, I can bear trash. It definitely, that's really bad. That's really. And I detest when adults throw garbage in front of their kids. That's really, but really nasty. Okay, because the parents throw garbage and the kids are watching, sir. Come on. There's the education that they are giving to them. Thank you. Well, Brandon, it's uh, as a listener, right? Present, teacher. Thank you, Brandon. I detest noisy neighborhoods. Yeah, come on. Noisy neighbors, definitely. Thank you. And Denise is uh, as a listener, right? She's not available for tonight. And we go with Freddy's. Okay, Freddy's. Hello, teacher. There. Present. I can bear the traffic. Mm -hmm. I can bear the traffic too. Thank you. Uh, Albert, are you there? Albert? Hello. Okay. Thank you. I don't know if Ernest is there or let's see if he's well as a listener. Uh, Maho, please. Yes. Um, it annoys me when people on motorcycle don't respect the other drivers because don't use in a correct way the streets and ways of emergency in less your space. Sometimes I have seen that, especially uh, tonight, I saw yes. the ambulance was in a rush, and a mm -hmm. lot of motorcycles were behind the 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 the, the, ambulance, the ambulance, taking advantage of that. And come on, it's like, well, no, not 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 a good, not a good uh way to to drive. But thank you. You're welcome. Miguel, I don't know if Miguel is there. Okay. Um, Morelia, hi. Good evening. I can't stand nice neighbors. Mm -hmm. Nice neighbors, yeah. I don't Especially like when you, you want to sleep and they are like making a lot of noise by playing music. Or I don't know, in my case, I remember that sometimes I wanted to sleep late on Sundays. And some, mm -hmm. some of my neighbors at 7 a.m. or 6.30 a.m. playing loud music. And I was, come on, please. But well. you, you have good look because here in my my neighbor, neighborhood mm -hmm. is 6, 6.30 a.m. or 6 a.m. And my neighbor has music, loud mm -hmm. music. Yeah, it's, it's and, like and my free days. So I on. really to to kill him. Yeah, yeah, you yes. 
come on. It's like strangulates what's going on with you, man. Yeah, yeah. and I, I guess it is that they don't... <laughs> yeah, they don't respect. They don't respect, like, uh, people's free time, vacations, or silence. Even sometimes we have uh, sick people, right? Sick babies. I don't know. You have headache. Different things, right? And the noisy neighbors are always like, yeah, yeah, interrupting your peace. Thank you, Moralia. Ya estuvo la, la, la terapia. Relax. Okay. Nancy. Present teacher. Hello, Nancy. I detest lies. Okay, yeah, similar. Thank you, Robert. Uh, in my case, I I detest the saturated traffic. Mm -hmm. I don't know what is the specific word. Traffic jam. You can traffic? say traffic jam. <clears throat> traffic jam. Okay, traffic jam traffic is jam? when something is stuck. stuck. Okay. It is like crowded and the movement of the cars are very slow or, or stop at all. So, yeah. yeah, traffic jam. Thank you. Okay, traffic yeah. jam. And... I can tolerate the cons considered people who show of money and other things of value. Mm -hmm. They, they, they of like to. They like I to show up. The, the that attitude. Drivers, drunk, the drunk drivers. Oh, that's another. It, yeah, and maybe it can happen one time, but uh, there are some drivers that they drink a lot of alcohol and they drive almost all the days almost every day that that's a common common routine that they have so come on thank you robert roxana yes i can tolerate love music mm -hmm. and also i have a, a neighbor that he listens to music like all of us yeah, it is like uh, it is like a party, and they have like a big stereos or sound systems. They have a like a high volume. Yeah, it is like yes. And the problem is that sometimes he listen the music the whole day until all day. He, he, they, he, he doesn't yes. work or what? No, what? Yeah, uh, especially in the on weekends. Oh, we can, yeah. Yeah, it is, but it is. it's terrible. Even, it, it is so terrible, even if you want to watch a movie. For yes. example, you, you want to watch a, a, a horror movie, suspense movie, or romantic movie in which sometimes the silence is important. Yes. Right? Yeah, it's important. So you, yes. you are connected, you are watching, you are staring at the TV, and then the, there is the, the music. La, yes. La, interrupting you, yeah. Can you imagine? That's terrible. That's terrible, and that's incre that's increasing that activity because nowadays yes. the houses are closer. In the uh, past, yes. houses were separated. Well, yes. some of, in the urban areas, there always have been a uh, crowded uh, houses like together. But in the yes. countryside, it was common to be separated. But now, even in the countryside, on the village and the pueblos, now there are a lot of houses. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it is difficult. Yes. And, they, and also, are small? Yeah, and they are small. Come on. Yes. And they have a big serious, like, yes. sound system. Okay, so that's it. Yeah. So, uh, it is like interruption to your privacy. To your yes. space and that's why a lot of people don't like to stay at home because of that well yes for that reason thank you yeah that's it or even when you have a, a mechanic workshop near your house where or when they are mm -hmm. repairing something and you listen or a lot painting, of or painting a car painting, painting a car or you listen a lot of tools uh, yes. I okay. It's good that people have uh, have work, but come on on Sundays in the morning, 
Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Well, definitely mm -hmm. it affects our our health, our rest. Thank you, Roxana. Estamos okay. ahorita catarsis con los vecinos. Okay, good. Uh, let's go now with what fictional place would you like to visit? Um, I guess you like reading or you like watching movies or series. So in this case, you have like very specific places that you would like to visit, even they are real or not. They are fictional, maybe. So uh, let's see. You can say, I would like to visit or I like to visit. Please text in the chat and I'm going to wait for all your answers and then we're going to read them. Okay, we start with this. <clears throat> what about Maho? Okay, Maho, you're the first one. Okay, I'm a really fan of the Lord of the, of the Rings. So oh, come on, yes. <laughs> I would like to visit the region of La Comarca, where Frodo and Bibo both live. Ah, the Fellowship, yeah. Ah, no, no, yes. that's, no that, that's the other. What? But, but the, the, like the movie the first movie right yes where um, uh, mm -hmm. i would like because the houses are very are really beautiful there is a food and many books there are many trees and fresh soft grass however i will know i wouldn't like to visit mordor <laughs> <laughs> even if it's in within the same universe i don't like orcs yeah come on and, and but mordor is very dark and yes. it, it's like there yeah are it's, spiders too oh, there, there definitely it is but like that 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 place where Frodo and Bilbo lives I really love houses and I love the doors yes. yeah it is like, yeah it's like the architecture is very nice even there is a place called Covitenango I guess in I have Guatemala. Seen, yeah, yeah I have seen pictures Really nice, right? To have pictures yes. in there. Yeah, it is like good. So, uh, thank you. Yes. You're welcome. Perfect. And we go with Vicky in Morelia. Come on, Vicky. 
Okay, I would like to visit Willy Wonk Chocolate mm -hmm. Factory to prepare and eat chocolate. Uh, I like chocolate bars with almonds and it is simple, simple, delicious. Delicious, even um, maybe we are not, well, in my case, I was not accustomed to eat chocolate because the, the real chocolate, it's delicious. It, it, it is really good. It, it, you don't black get chocolate. Or, sorry. The, the black chocolate. Yeah. Chocolate. Mm -hmm. uh, chocolate. Yeah. I, I I like it, but in the past, <laughs> I used to say that I didn't like chocolate because I was accustomed to the commercial chocolate that that you can notice. But yeah, there are different types, right? For example, white chocolate. That's another one. Even it is sweet, but nice. So Willy Wonka's. Mm -hmm. Good one, yes. definitely. <laughs> Good one to try different things. A very nice universe. That one, thank you. Uh, Morelia and then Roxana. Hello, I would like to visit Skypia, is the island in the sky from One Piece. Ah, from One Piece, I have heard about that. Even, uh, well, I guess that that anime is really long, right. It has yeah. a, lot of, a lot of chapters or, or seasons. I don't know. It's like, but a there lot. Are, right now, there are around 1,088, I think. Um, uh, almost 1,000. That, that is a lot. It, it, it has to be a really good anime, right? To it's have that really in, good. Uh, yeah, I'm it's a recommendation. For, I'm waiting for the chapter to the Sunday because oh, okay. yes I'm, I'm waiting for the new show but that, that's a really good like a motivation sometimes where you are really tired and you uh, maybe you remember hey come on we have a new chapter right it's like yeah it gives you like yes. energy okay thank you yeah I'm going to watch it because it's a good recommendation from some friends yeah so yeah, I'm about to, to, really to watch good. it Okay, thank you, Morelia, Roxana, and Fredis. Okay, I would like to visit the castle of the Lord of the Ring and also the houses of the Hobbits. Oh, the Hobbits. So, yeah. I like the huh? Yeah, please continue. Yes, no, I like the castles and also the houses of the Hobbits. <laughs> yeah, really good ones. Uh, the, same, the same way that we were talking with Maho, right? Very, very yes. interesting. I like the grass. It, it is so peaceful in there, very, yes. a lot of tranquility, and everybody's working with the ornaments in their garden so they can plant their own food. Yeah, really good yes. one. Definitely yes. it is. And even the castles, yeah, it is like, okay, Mah, what's the name of that castle when in the Return of the Ring? It or is, the two, the two where towers. the elves live, or no, what no, there is when Aragorn's uh, castle. Ah. Yeah. It is like see. it is like Boromir and, and Faramir. They, they were like uh, fighting, uh, because Denethor had like that throne, right? Yes. Uh, yes. I don't remember the name. When there is a tree at the top of the castle, there there is a tree. I don't remember, but. Mm -mm -mm. Good, good scenes, right? Yeah, definitely. Lord of the yes. Rings, it's a masterpiece. The three of them, I love, I love them. Yes. Okay, thank you. We go mm -hmm. now with Freddy's and Brandon. Okay. <clears throat> I would like to visit the planet Polyphemus in the moon Avatar because I like the forest and the relationship that the native on the planet have with the earth seems interesting to me. An okay. ideal employee, that's it. Okay, um, you talk about Avatar the with the blue the blue guys, like the Navi the Navi tribe and all those. You talk about it, right? Not about Ang, right? It is like that. No, it's, it's the... <laughs> yes. yes. Okay. I don't remember. Well, uh, 
I don't remember how how was was the name of the planet, but it is like poly polyphemus, maybe. Polyphemus. Okay. Um I always associate that movie with how indigenous, how yeah. Hispanic times used to live a connection, a profound connection with the nature and with the animals. I love it. And especially when they kill animals, but they pray. They 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 pray for the the spirit of that animal, yeah. And even they have like yeah. a forest, and they can have access to the memories about the, their the, ancestors, right? Yeah. Yeah. The the movie presents the connection with the animal uh, forest, um, the planet with your native person. Yeah. Is interesting. Um. Relas relationship, the relationship, yeah, it is like mm -hmm. like a strong relationship, yeah. Perfect. I like it, yeah. yeah. Good movie, definitely like it. Okay. Thank you, Bradis. And okay. what about Brandon? And then Robert. Uh, okay, uh, I would like to visit Narnia and meet a uh, Centaurus. Okay, Taurus, yeah. Why not? It is a very like very a mythical creature. Really interesting. Thank you, Brandon. Robert, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay. Sorry, I don't write because no, come on. I'm Say working on some stuff. Ah, but can computer. you participate? Yes, I can participate. Uh, I would like to visit the castle of Howard because I oh, love okay. I like the British architecture. Yeah, re really nice. Yeah, the, the British is like really, but really amazing. In Howard, it's, it's like a very magical place. Okay. Thank you, Robert. Okay, okay we're going to continue, my friends, yeah. with this conversation. Okay. In this case, uh, here we have. Alex and Rick, okay? So uh, the conversation starts like this. The dishwasher I hired a month ago wants to know how to get promoted. He asked me about training opportunities. Ah, very good. You see, I want to schedule a service training for the next month and one for cashiers. Performance this month was not so good. Some customers complained about having to wait for too long. Yes, I think servers need a good training. Let's identify their skills and knowledge so we can include everything they need the training. Let's do that. And don't forget we have to evaluate the servers after the training. Okay, uh, related to important words. Okay, hired, eh, contratado, el, ¿cómo se llama? El, el lavaplatos o el limpiador de platos, que contrate un mes, hace un mes, quiere saber cuándo ser promovido. So, another word, it's performance, and complaint, queja. Can you remember this word? Schedule, yeah. Knowledge. No, no less. Two syllables. No less. So um, I needed to have a screenshot, please, and send it to the WhatsApp group. I'm going to form right now the the teams. So we can have like ready.
Just give me some seconds. Okay, my friends, see you in a moment. Okay, I will need uh, Miguel to accept. Voy a necesitar que Miguel acepte. Please.
Okay, my friends, let's see. A um, <clears throat> couple of volunteers for this conversation. Uh, let's see if we have volunteers. I'm going to see if we have volunteers. Maybe Morelia and oh, Roxana. Okay, we have Majo and Morelia and then Roxana. Okay, Majo, Morelia, you start and then we go with Roxana. Okay. Okay. The dishwasher I hired a month ago wants to know how to get promoted. He asked me about training opportunities. Oh, very good. You see, he wants to schedule a server's training for next month and one of cashiers. Performance this month was not so good. Some customers complained about having to wait for too long. Yes, I think servers need a good training. Let's identify the sk their skills and knowledge knowledge so we can include everything they need in the training let's do that and don't forget we have to evaluate the servers after the training thank you nice perfect okay uh, roxana you were working with Ana victoria vicky <laughs> okay roxana vicky please your turn okay that is the dishwasher i had a month ago wants to know how to get promoted. He asked me about training opportunities. Ah, very good. You see, I want to schedule a server's training for the next month in one for cashiers. Performance this month was not so good. Some customers complained about having to wait for too long. Yes, I think servers need our training. Let's identify their skills and knowledge so we can include everything they need in the training. Let's do that. And don't forget, we have to evaluate the servers after the training. Thank you so much. Okay. So here we have this. Thank you. Uh, both teams, nice pronunciation. And uh, we can notice that they're talking about training. So, who is asking for a promotion? Okay, maybe I can ask to some of you. Let's see, here we have question number one. Who is asking for a promotion? Number two, what did the customers complain about? Three, what staff will receive training? And four, what steps will Alex and Rick take for the training? So, um, let's see, maybe we can have... In this case, hello, Miguel, are you there? Maybe Miguel is not there. Okay, Roxana, are you raising your hand? Or it, it was for the conversation? I don't know if you're raising, but well. Uh, let's move with maybe we can have in this case. Maho, could you select one question? Yes. Um, with the first one, who is asking for a promotion? Um, was it his watcher, the person mm -hmm. who was asking for a promotion? Yes, he was hired a month ago, so he's asking yes. for a promotion. But imagine one month and asking for a promotion is kind of <laughs> uh, difficult, right? But it can happen. Thank you. Uh, Fredis, can you select one of these questions and we answer them? This. Oh. Okay, if not, I'm going to give you some time, okay? No problem. Not. Okay. Uh, okay, let's go with Vicky. Vicky, can you help me with one of these questions? Number one is taking. Yes. yes. Uh, what did the customer complain about? Uh, okay. I think it's uh, about any, having to wait for too long. Okay. Having to wait for too long. Yeah, the time. 
to wait. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. Okay, uh, we have three and four. Maybe we can have uh, Morelia. Three or four. Um, number three. Mm -hmm. uh, I, servers. Servers. Okay, the servers need yeah. a good training, right? So they are going to receive it. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. And here we have number four. What steps will Alex and Rick take for the training? Okay. And here we have, uh, let's identify their skills and knowledge so we can include everything they need in training. Okay. And don't forget, we have two late servers. Good. Okay. We go now to this. This is like a concept and definition. Surveillance, uh, reassure behavior, theft, uh, wage, tip, spooky. Okay? Tip, spooky. I'm going to give you like a, a couple of, let's see, a couple of seconds so you can have like an idea about this. Right? Okay, let's see, volunteers. I'm going to help you. Mm, don't worry, okay? You tell me what uh, number of definition, and I'm going to help you. Maybe we can start with uh, Roberto. Okay, Roberto, are you there? Sorry, teacher. It is raining in my country. Okay. I Near have your house. To hear you. It is difficult for you to hear. Okay. Maybe we can advance with Freddy's. Um, is resorts. The action or crime of selling is number four. And um, number five is the amount of money paid to employees. Okay, yes. Wait, the amount of money paid? Mm -hmm. Okay. To we'll... employees is number five. Let me check something. Mm -hmm. Number seven is something. Just, just that... number number five. Okay, relax, relax. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're going to move here. Number five. Number five is um so amount of money, right? It is like this. Thank you. Five is this. Okay. We're going to move to another. What about Vicky? Me? I'm okay. Okay, Roxana. An estimation of income and expenses. Number three, but... Okay, number three. Uh -huh. Number three but... is... Budget. Okay. The second, uh, the second sentence is uh, number three, budget. 
Okay, the second sentence, the action of crime. Okay, number, the second sentence is uh -huh. the action of crime uh -huh. or stealing. No, 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 I got confused. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. relax. I'm going to give you some time. Uh -huh. This uh, number, number, sorry, it's four. It's four. Four, yes, theft. Theft, right? Uh -huh. yeah. Theft is uh, the action of crime and stealing. Yes, and stealing. Sorry, I was reading another. No problem, no problem, it happens. Okay, so theft, the action. Okay, good. Here we have um, Robert says, Surveillance, the act of watching someone closely to detect a, a, a crime, right? Okay, surveillance, yes, it is like this. The action of watching someone closely to detect a crime, thank you. Okay, what about if we move now to, I don't know if uh, more. I have like one picture. Okay, let's see Maho, right? Mm -hmm. Maho, I don't know, I, I try. And yes. the red, something that causes fear or nervousness is spooky. spooky. Okay. The seven? Spooky. Yeah. With the sentence number four. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Something okay. definitely that causes doubt. Thank you. Good one. Okay. Uh, Morelia, please. Tip to give a small amount amount of money to someone who has provided a service. Thank you. Tip. Yeah, that is tip. Okay, we have just uh, two, right? Six. And number two, it's to remove someone. Someone's doubts or fear, right? It is like this. And three, behavior. I guess Freddy's told me that, right? It is the way someone acts. The way someone acts. Okay. Okay, um, look at this. Here we have your turn, and then it says write a 10-line paragraph to say whether you are in favor or against employee surveillance at your workplace. State at least three reasons to support your position. Okay, we're not going to give three reasons. We're going to give just one reason. You tell me you are in favor or you are against. Están a favor? You are, I am in favor or I am against. Están a favor o están en contra de la vigilancia de empleados? Mm -hmm. In favor or against. You tell me. Solo denme una razón por la que ustedes consideran que sí están de acuerdo o a favor, in favor or against, en contra. No tiene que ser largo, solo una oración. ¿Por qué? ¿Ok? En el chat lo voy a estar esperando.
Let's listen to some of your ideas about surveillance, uh, Robert, and then Maho, please. Go, my friends. Okay, Robert, could you read your answer? And then we go with Maho. Okay, if Robert is, is not available, uh, Maho, and then Vicky. Okay, um, I'm a favor of security surveillance against external client crimes, crimes, because not only the person who worked with me committed a crime, so could be external people too. Mm -hmm. External people you don't know, and you don't know their intentions, right? Exactly. Thank you, Maho. Uh, Vicky, please, and then we go with Morelia. I am against employee surveillance because I believe that a responsible employee do, does need uh, to be controlled to do a good, a good job. Okay, talking about control and talking about how an employee can do uh, their job, it is like uh, it is like uncomfortable, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Vicky. Morelia and Fredis. In favor because the boss has to take care of his factory or company. We never know the songs to other people. In think. case in case you have customers or clients, um, maybe they can have problems or mental problems in some cases, right? They can be violent or they can be aggressive. So in that case it is good to have like a um, monitor right in that case Moreto. so you talk about in that in that way right with other people that you don't know thank yes. you uh freddy's and albert is yes. i don't like vigilance when i work but there are workers who require it 
Mm -hmm. There are workers. Maybe in an in a company there are a, a good a lot of good employees, but not one hundred percent of employees are good, right? It can be. Okay. okay. Yes. Thank you. And it affects the production of something or the service or any other aspects about the objectives of the care. Thank it's you. Complicated. Yes. Okay. Uh, Albert? Yeah, teacher. I favor if you have a person who is vegetarian, interest to work and stay on the single line, nothing happens. Mm -hmm. So that's it, right? Uh, if you do a good job, there is nothing to, to fear, right? Thank you. Very nice. Yeah, uh -huh, okay, so you are doing a good job, so you don't worry about the other aspects. Okay, thank you. Uh, we move now and we have this. Uh, how do you organize training for your staff? Number the steps in the correct order. Okay, analyze the job, decide skills and knowledge gaps, implement training, identify personal current skills and knowledge, evaluate performance after training, identify training solutions. Hmm. Six uh, steps. Six steps to organize training para organizar la capacitación con sus empleados. But these steps can be ordered in different forms. So we have to order these. Um, okay. We're going to, let me check. Okay. We're going to order this. Uh, how do you consider what is the, 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 the first one, okay? Analyze the job, decide skills and knowledge, implement training, or identify personal current skill knowledge, evaluate performance after training, identify training solutions. Okay, and we're going to uh, work in pairs, and let's see. You tell me what is the correct order. Please, order them in pairs. Talk about this, right, because this is a pair work. And then you're going to uh, decide what is the best form, okay, to order this. I need you to have a screenshot, send it to the WhatsApp group, and we're going, then we're going to present what order do you consider it is the correct to organize uh, these uh, training steps for your staff, okay? Please, I need you to have a screenshot. Les agradeceré. Y manden una captura de pantalla para que, pues, en equipo podamos ordenar. In Teams, we're going to order this. Thank you, Maho. Okay, let's do this. Uh, please accept the request. We're going to do this uh, very simple, okay? Just like three, four minutes, and then we come back. Okay, maybe Miguel or Robert can accept the request so we can work. <clears throat> Let's see.
Okay, my friends, I need you to um uh, write the 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 order that you consider it is uh the correct one. In this case, when you want to organize uh the training for your staff, okay. Um, please, uh, let's see. Uh, I need you to do it in the chat, and uh, then we're going to have the song. Y mientras tanto se prepara con la canción. Let's see. Vicky, it's your turn, right? Tu turno de la canción. Yes. Okay. Okay, Vicky. So, yes. prepare. Okay, prepárate. Prepare your song. And we're going to check this. Okay. Um, Morelia or Majo, who is going to read? Me. Please. But let me see. Mm -hmm. Is number one, analyze the job. Okay. Number two, identify personal current skills and knowledge and number four number three pardon decide decide skills and knowledge gaps number four identify training solutions number five implement training implement training and number six Evaluate performance after training. Very nice. I like it. Thank you. Just uh, one detail. Identify. That's the only word. Identify. But Identify. then, yeah, I like Thank this you. order. It has logical. Thank you. Okay, Ro, uh, Albert is sending here. Okay, I'm going to take a look. Okay, um, let's see what image. Okay, Albert, who is going to read it? Quien lo va a leer? Okay, go. Number one, animated the app. Number two, identify personal, personal student skill and knowledge. Number three, implement training. Number four, identify new training solution. Number five, design a skill and knowledge at lab. And number six, evaluate, evaluate performance at training. Thank you. Very, very uh, different and good because you have one, two steps and then implement the training. And then uh, check what are the gaps. Okay. ¿Qué es lo que falta? Very nice. Yeah, it can be another strategy. Okay. Who else? Let's see. Okay, what about Vicky and Roxana? Okay. We put um, first one, analyze the job. Two, mm -hmm. identify personal current skills and knowledge. Three, okay. decide skills and knowledge gaps. Mm -hmm. um, four, identify training solutions. Five implementing training and six evaluate performance after training. Very nice. Similar to Morelia's and Maho, right? So you think yes. in, in the same the same uh, sequence. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes. Okay. okay. Um Vicky, are you ready to, to share screen and show us what's the, the lyric of your song? Yes. Please. Okay. Did you, uh, this, do you see? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <Okay. laughs> no. 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 No.
the song is the letter is let you see the parts of me that weren't all that pretty in which every touch you fix them and now you being talking in your sleep mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. <laughs> things you never say to me okay uh, tell, tell me, me that you you have a note of or low or low uh, actually <laughs> i don't have any idea about this song <laughs> no I, honestly the the, the slide <laughs> okay anybody because i couldn't I see the, the 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 name okay. of the song <laughs> Is just give me a reason by pink. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's see what else. Mm -hmm. It can be. Okay. Nice. Oh, it's good. Like, yeah. Chart. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the subject pronoun I and you. Uh, the object pronouns me, then me. Possessive adjectives is your possessive okay. pronouns is our. Aquí faltó la R. Uh, the R, yes. Our. Uh -huh. The adjectives uh, pretty and no. Me pareció como. Yeah, enough uh, is uh, uh -huh. sufficient. Uh -huh. Or uh -huh. yes, bastante, suficiente. Um, yes. Uh, others, never, now, y. And every. And every. Okay. In the verse, the irregular verse, left, tell, see, being, and no. Okay. E e enough. Mm -hmm. Enough. No. Sleep, have, fix, say, it, touch. And regular verse, love, and talking. Talking. Yes. Talk. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, wonderful. Thank you. Very good job. This is another form to present the grammar parts, right? Thank you. I okay, like it. In the last mm -hmm. slide, I can. <laughs> Just give, ah, that's it. Just give me a reason. Hey, what, what, who is the singer? Pink. Yes. Pink. Okay. Mm -hmm. I get, is it a romantic song, right? No. It's just it's romantic. Like cut the veins <laughs> for cut cut the, cut the veins. veins. <laughs> okay. But the other songs I don't um I don't have encontrar. Uh, I didn't find. I didn't ah, okay. I didn't find the difference. No subject adverse what. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Very nice. Uh, okay. Very nice uh, song. And uh, let's see who else. Thank you. And Vicky, we're going to have, okay, for Brandon, I don't know if you can present your song on Monday. I don't know if Brandon is there. Okay. We're going to tell Brandon, okay? Um, let's see. Okay, we continue. We have like 18 minutes and we finished. Thank you. You have a good idea and, well, very nice uh, perspective of the about this order. We're going to do... Uh, this, this is similar to the previous exercise because it is about um, matching, unir, uh, concepts nice. and definitions. Okay, here we have goal, meta, feedback, retroalimentación, budget, presupuesto, knowledge gap, eh, son vacíos de conocimiento, coaching, entrenamiento, o, o más bien, pues, guía, yeah, qualifications, ¿verdad? And here we have a quality that makes someone suitable for a particular job, an estimation of if con expenses, helpful information and criticism about the performance of a person. 
the process of improving the performance of an employee, uh, a desired result of or possible outcome, and an irregular balance of what a person should know. You tell me, my friends. I'm going to give you a couple of seconds. Let's do it in a couple of seconds. And then here we have with the participation. So we're going with this, speaking activity, and we finish. Veamos con cuál me pueden eh, colaborar. Okay. Okay, let's move and then we go with the last activity and we say goodbye. And volunteers, please, for this. Here we have just a uh, six. Here we have just six uh, definitions and words. Me? Okay, Roxana. I think a, a quality that makes someone suitable for a particular job is coaching. Coaching. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm sorry. What did you say? The, the a quality that makes someone suit, suitable for a particular job. Coaching. Oh. Okay. Uh, almost. Almost. A quality that makes someone uh, suitable in this case, it is qualification. Qualification. Uh, qualifications. Qualification. Oh, yeah, okay. quality, qualification. It is like tricky. Poquito tramposita esta, esta palabra. Okay. A quality that mm -hmm. makes someone suitable. Sé que aquí dice suitable. Suitable, uno piensa, pero es pero... al revés. Suitable. Okay. Thank you for a particular job. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Nice. We continue. With the others. Go. Okay. Uh, who? Okay, Robert and Morelia. Okay, Robert, tell me. Yeah. Hey, teacher. Uh, oh. Feedback. Feedback, okay. Helpful, helpful information or criticism about the performance of a person. Thank you. Yes, that's it. Not all the people like feedback. But depends how is the feedback presented. Some people say the feedback, but in the wrong way. Like uh, yes. in, that is disgusting, that is uncomfortable. And we don't like feedback from rude or aggressive people. So that's that that's uh, one my, important point. In the workplace, we use so much this word. Yeah, it is good. It's going to make your feedback. Yes. Feedback. It is good to, to know the, the strong points, positive things that you have, and the negative aspects that yes. you can improve. But depends how if you feel like, okay, I'm going to improve, or if you feel attacked, it is, mm, no, you're not going to have good uh, behavior. Thank you. Yes, in uh, the case, always are some advice. Okay, advice is good. Because it, it is like a recommendation, and you say, okay, I'm going to take into account. Yeah, I like it. Thank you. Uh, Morelia? Goal. Goal, yeah. Uh, desire, desire 
result or possible outcome? Perfect. A possible outcome. Outcome. Yeah, that's it. Definitely. Thank you. Brandon? Uh, coaching. The process okay. of problem, the perform, performance of an employee. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Okay, we have number three, number four. Three and Maybe four. number three is an, an estimation of income and expenses. Definitely, it is. Yes, an estimation of income ingresos. Mm -hmm. that, thank you. And knowledge gap. It is the last one. An irregular balance of what a person should know. Thank you. Okay, guys, the time has been passing by very quickly. El tiempo siento que en esta clase se va todavía más rápido. We're going to move to the last activity that we have here. And here we have mention the characteristics of an ideal employee. Okay, look at this. An ideal employee should be un empleado ideal debería ser Okay, tell me two or three characteristics. Depends on you. How do you consider? I'm going to be waiting in the chat. And then we read uh, your answers. Try to be honest because we have some ideas about an ideal employee. But be honest based on the reality because uh, we don't have a perfect employee or a perfect boss. But maybe we can have like a good expectations or ideas. How can it be? Okay, I'm going to give you like two minutes and then we'll read them and then we say goodbye. Let's see. Okay, we start with uh, Morelia. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, an ideal employee should be punctual, polite, responsible, and how to show it interested to learn about the job and be the best. Yeah, that's it and learn about the job. Thank you, Morelia. We go now with Freddy's and then Vicky. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, hello? I have some difficulties. I'm sorry. Could you read it again, please? Okay. And the employees should be honest, teamwork, quick learning, positive, 
and reliable and hardworking. Good. Okay, That's reliable. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, of course. And ideal. Ideal employee. Thank you. We go with okay. Vicky and Albert. Nice, mm -hmm. nice characteristics. Okay. An idea employee should be ethical, responsible, hardworking, honest, proactive, and kind. Kind, kind. Yes, of course. Good. I like it. And we have like Thank similar you. adjectives, but we are including more and more. Albert and then Brandon. Thank you. Punctual. Faltó una C ahí, but thank you. Yes. Uh, efficient. Mm -hmm. so, gentle is similar to kind, uh, as Vicky said. Kind, similar, kind. gentle. Mm -hmm. uh, we go with Brandon and Majo. And um, ideal employees should be punctual, have a good attitude, who wants to improve themselves. Yeah, improve. Yeah, that, that's a key word, an ideal employee. Thank you. Majo and Roxana. Okay, responsible, attentive, and knows how to work as a team, communicator, mm -hmm. able, proactive, with the capacity to learn new things, and comprehensive and honest. Yeah, I like it. Thank you. We go with uh, Roxana. Okay, an ideal employee to be empathy, responsible, with respect, and good act. They, uh, they must have a good act and mm -hmm. ability to solve problems. Definitely solve problems. Remember, we as employee, uh, we're going to find a lot of problems. We have to find a solution. Yes. That's the reason why we are hired. And our boss wants that we solve problems in different types, different areas. So mm -hmm. I agree. I, I I consider that is basically one of the main functions. And of course, we have some other tasks. Okay. okay. Um, thank you. Thank you. Yes, I, I agree with all of the, the characteristics that you have mentioned. Um, that's an ideal employee. In the reality, maybe we can have some of these characteristics, but not all of them. So, because we have a positive aspects and negative ones. Okay. Well, uh, tonight, ahora se quedaría. Vicky, ¿te puedes quedar unos minutos, please? Hello, Vicky. Yes, teacher. Okay, okay. te me quedas unos minutos, okay, después. Este, disculparme con ustedes por el inconveniente que tuve ayer, eh, porque no se les avisó, oh, no hubo un, un, un aviso este, de, de emergencia, así como que ese. yo no puedo eh, cancelar clases, uh, de igual manera yo no puedo dar permisos de ausencia, ¿verdad? Porque eh, para eso está el equipo de monitoreo y de seguimiento de inglés corporativo así que pues de mi parte mis disculpas no podía cancelar la clase sino que siempre inglés corporativo es el ente que se encarga de todo el, el tema eh, pues de avisos verdad eh, de cancelaciones de clase inicios de cursos asignaciones y todo eso verdad pero ya vamos estamos prontos a, a, a terminar verdad eh, en teoría terminaríamos el miércoles y eh, comentarles tres cosas. Uno, les va a llegar eh, seguramente pronto el tema de la encuesta final. La encuesta final la vamos a, a como ustedes ya están súper acostumbrados, a hacerla siempre el ulti, la, la última clase. Así que el miércoles vamos a realizar la encuesta todos juntos. Si les llega la información de la encuesta de satisfacción, no la llenen. Ustedes ya saben. Uh, y aunque ya sepan, pues les hago este recordatorio. Esperemos hasta la última clase. Todos juntos la vamos a llenar. Eso es uno. Dos, eh, necesito que en este fin de semana avancen todo lo que puedan y terminen ya la unidad este, cuatro, 
4 y eh, examen final. Terminen todas las evaluaciones para que ya lunes, miércoles y miércoles ya, eh, lunes, martes y miércoles no se queden con complicaciones y no se les acumule trabajo. Um, creo que en este caso, Majo, creo que tú estabas un poquito atrasada con la plataforma, ¿verdad, Majo? Fíjense que le mandé a Oneida las cosas porque a mí me parecía que yo lo había hecho y le mandé como las, ay, como las, ¿La los gráficos de barras, ajá, de que ya estaba hecho, pero ya no me ha respondido. Pero sí le mandé absolutamente todo. Prácticamente cuando ya me escribió, este, ya había terminado hasta el midterm y esta la llevaba como dos, dos, dos cositos, no me acuerdo. He uh -huh. hecho porque le dije que íbamos todavía en curso de esta unidad. Pero no me respondió, yo creo que sí se solventó, porque lo contrario me hubiera dicho que... Voy a revisar, que no, que porque esta, esta semana no, 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 no he eh, actualizado notas, ¿verdad? Ahora lo voy a hacer. Sí. Así que, bueno, voy a estar pendiente contigo, ¿verdad, Majo? Sí. Y los demás, pues, eh, pónganse al día o terminen. Yo quiero que lo terminen este fin de semana para ya no tener este problema los otros días, ¿ok? Terminamos hasta acá. My friends, solo nos queda un par de clases. El miércoles decimos adiós definitivamente. Así que pasen feliz noche, solo me dejan el pulgar arriba, thumb up, ¿verdad? Como siempre. Eh, y pues, eh, see you, we'll see you until um, Monday. Los veo este lunes, descansen. Please, please, please. Have a good night, solo me quedo con Vicky. Descansen, bye bye. Good night, teacher. Bye, bye. see you, see you, my bye. friends. Ok. Eh, Bien, Vicky. Sí, ya te vi. Aquí estoy. Yo, yo buscando, ok. Ok, eh, Vicky, nice. Yo había entendido que faltaban cinco clases según el aviso de ayer. Fíjate. Pero que, sí que llegamos hasta el viernes. Fíjate que sí, pero por temas eh, de, de, de organización, con, eh, lo que pasa es que estamos contra reloj con las fechas. Entonces, y el siguiente va, va seguido, el, el próximo módulo, ¿no? ¿O va a haber no, pausa? No, yo tengo entendido que en diciembre ya no, no hacen, sino que sería no hasta mediados de enero. No, no hay. A menos ah, bueno. que ellos decidan, pero sería bien complicado porque no van a estar dando clases entre el 24 de diciembre y el 31, ¿verdad? Sí, porque verdad, todo lo, como... que, lo que comienzan, no, ajá. Y si te das cuenta, termina un módulo y normalmente dan una semana o dos para iniciar el siguiente módulo. Sí. O a veces una semana, pero de aquí en todo eso, y no pueden dejar algo cortado. Entonces, considero que seguramente ese es el último módulo del año, ¿verdad? Y ahí veremos, ¿verdad? Con ustedes. Eh, uh -huh. Bien, Vicky, este, tu inglés me gusta, eh, tienes muy buen vocabulario, sabes expresarte. A mí me cuesta. No, Vicky, lo haces bien. Solo que si te das cuenta, yo los pongo a hablar bastante. No, Entonces, y eso es bueno porque se le va quitando, se le va quitando a uno un poco el temor porque realmente a mí siempre, bueno, me cuesta porque me da pena. Entonces eso es lo que me hace más difícil, siento yo, el aprendizaje. Pero claro. me ha gustado un montón en su clase porque ha sido más, o sea, más interactiva y con eso de las preguntitas. Son claro, raras. O sea, honestamente, yo me, me ayudo con... No, es también... Yo me ayudo un poco con el traductor y... Así y adelante, para tener claro. Claro. Pero a mí o, sí me gusta. Sí, eh, gracias, me alegra, Vicky. El objetivo de... Bueno, yo tengo esta metodología un poquito diferente que a través de los años eh, me he dado cuenta que con los adultos funciona esto. Con los uh -huh. jóvenes, no. Y con los niños, totalmente diferente. Entonces... <ríe> Sí, eh, entonces eh, tengo dos años de, 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 de estar empleando diferentes eh, estrategias y eh, considero que uno de los primeros, eh, no, de los más grandes uh, problemas que puede tener a alguien que está aprendiendo inglés es el miedo y la inseguridad al hablar. Si alguien pierde el miedo y la inseguridad al hablar, ya la hizo. Ya. O sea, ya, ya sí. la, el, la barrera más grande ya está derrumbada. Ahora, ¿qué, ¿qué pasa después de eso? Debe de haber una práctica constante diaria. ¿Y cómo va a ser esa práctica? 
la práctica tiene que ser una lectura de por lo menos un minuto cada día, leer en voz alta, pensar en inglés, entonces por eso les mando los speaking activities, porque de esa manera ustedes aunque sea, uh -huh. es, escriben porque en las otras clases yo antes cuando daba el inglés eh, para el trabajo sin speaking activities, yo me daba cuenta que los eh, participantes estaban en el, en el, con el chip del trabajo y después del sí. trabajo volvían otra vez a inglés pero durante todo el día, ni pensaban en inglés, estaban preocupados por el trabajo pero cuando les mando eso, en un break en un descanso, un almuerzo, ahí entonces su cerebro ya se está programando para hablar en inglés en la noche y si ustedes lo practican cosa que yo siempre les decía para que, si te das cuenta no es lo mismo que te pregunten algo a quemar ropa a que ya tengas una idea y te sentís como más valiente, como que, ah, aquí va. Sí, ya por lo menos ha preparado alguno. Claro, sí, bueno. claro. Y cuando te bombardean con preguntas, eh, a veces eh, te sentís intimidado y como hay otros que contestan bien y tú no, te sentís cohibido o cohibida. Uh -huh. Entonces, he visto en el tema actitudinal eso y creo que sí lo he podido manejar y mi, mi objetivo es motivar. Ese es el sí. punto. No, y a mí me gusta porque yo también me he sentido que he podido ir hablando más cosas relacionadas a lo, con lo que yo trabajo, entonces, o lo que hago. Entonces, por eso me, me gusta de verdad las actividades, o sea, las siento bien ya interesantes. Y, me alegra, y uno, si te das sí. cuenta, hay, hay, aquí hay conversaciones que no tienen nada que ver con el, el área laboral de uno, pero sí es el área laboral en general, pero cuando hay eh, cuestiones como de que comentes una anécdota, a veces las anécdotas uh -huh. en el trabajo pasan, como tú me decías, que te caíste y todo ese, eh, eh, todo ese tema de, 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 eh, o de haber visitado algún lugar. Entonces, es de tu trabajo. Y algo bien importante, Vicky, es que el inglés es un tema cultural. Es aprender, una, eh, es, eh, aprender los chistes en inglés, eh, seguir, porque hemos hecho bromas en inglés o cositas así. Entonces, sí. ya tú estás... Eh, haciendo esa, esa conexión con esa cultura con el tema de, 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 de hablar inglés y este, si tú puedes hablar inglés en diferentes contextos quiere decir que vas bien pero si solo estás hablando solo del trabajo entonces uh -huh. de, en otro tema te vas a quedar como oh. entonces pero si tú te puedes desenvolver en todo en lo que yo estoy de acuerdo con esto con esto no estoy de acuerdo entonces sí, ya vas bueno. generando una personalidad al hablar inglés, ¿verdad? Entonces, me alegra, me alegra, Vicky. No, gracias, a mí también. A mí también, me gusta. Sí, yo sé que eh, les, es, es difícil recibir clases en, en la noche, eh, uno viene cansado, <risa> estresado, con hambre, con sueño, entonces yo me pongo en su lugar y yo me pongo a pensar si yo fuera ellos, ¿qué me gustaría? Me gustaría que me preguntaran, me gustaría opinar o algo así. ¿Verdad? Porque para que no hablen los mismos siempre. ¿verdad? Sí, 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 realmente cansado. ¿verdad? Yo a veces lo que se me dificulta es, bueno, hoy esta semana no he tenido actividades de campo, pero sí cuando estoy en campo es más complicado porque, por ejemplo, aunque andemos dos o tres personas, el problema es que estamos en el mismo espacio y ellos tal vez están queriendo dormir y yo todavía con la luz encendida, con la computadora encendida. Y también la carretera como, o sea, generalmente voy hasta la Unión. Sí. Y ya regreso noche y con eso de los chorros una tortura. Ah, no. Tortura. Terrible. Sí, no. ¿Usted vive cerca, no? No, cerca de los planes. Salvador. Cerca de los planes. Ah, también es una tortura por ratos el tráfico. Ah, olvido. Sí. Ahí Viernes, está la oficina sábado, donde trabajo. Hago unos días ahí cerca de los planes. Ah, entonces tú sientes Porque un cambio de pico. clima. Bien, diferente. Ajá. Los sientes climas mm, opuestos. Un, la unión es caliente. Caliente. Sí, bueno. Los planes de sí, fresco, 38 eso. grados. Sí, sí, no, los planes es bonito. Pero ahí está la, o sea, todo lo que hago con aves, lo trabajo con una ONG que está ahí cerca de la carretera de los planes, en una ¿Cómo finca se llama? bien bonito. Ahí en finca Vista Alegre, Vista Alegre, creo. Ah, creo que sí. Kilómetro sí, tres sí. y medio. Sí, sí. O sea, yo voy sí, seguido ahí. Me gusta porque el ambiente es bien bonito, bien fresco. Sí, es muy bonito. Es Así bonito. es, Vicky. Así que eh, con lo de la plataforma creo que ya terminaste, ¿verdad? No, me falta. Ya me voy a poner a trabajar porque no voy a estar toda la semana. Eso le iba a decir. 
Bueno, yo espero poderme conectar en teoría. Debería de tener internet. Voy a estar afuera un par de días. Y espero poderme conectar. Espero. Ok, uh, sí, Pero... yo te sugiero que avances el fin de o desde ahora para que después ya te quedes. Sí, voy a, voy a, voy a avanzar hoy. Ya me voy a poner a trabajar porque mañana no sé a qué hora me desocupe en la noche dependiendo de la hora que llegue a donde voy. Y domingo voy a estar transbordándome en bus probablemente como seis horas, entonces no, sí. no voy a poder el fin de semana. Sí, para nada. Así que, pues, me alegra que te gusten las clases, eh, Vicky. Sí, a ver si, si nos vemos en otro módulo, aunque lo veo difícil. Sí, ojalá que sí. Es que sí nos cambian Ay, no, bastante, que... sí. <ríe> eh, pero sí, me alegra. Hemos tenido y... varios profesores. <ríe> ¿Verdad que sí? Me imagino. Sí. Me imagino, creo que han, han visto muchas metodologías diferentes, ¿verdad? O, o, han visto estilos. Ajá, sí, y todo eso, con, pero... con todos ha sido diferente, pero siempre sí. hay bastantes cosas buenas de cada, de cada grupo de ir sí. sí, realmente sí. aquí en inglés corporativo hay buenos teachers. Hay muy, teachers sí, muy no, capaces. Sí, no, es bueno, me gusta, el, me gusta el programa este, es bueno. Sí, ¿Verdad? Entonces... Sí, solo que a mí me gusta un poquito el, el, el relajo, porque pues sí, se trata de distraerse un poquito. Es que si no, está todo aburrido uno. Sí, es que si no puede es mejor ser. mejor así que sea más, más dinámica en las clases que estar ahí aburrido. Yo sé, Vicky. Porque yo lo sé, pero... <risa> Con, Claro que sí, pero me gusta. Y qué bueno, te felicito porque tú siempre participas, a pesar de las dificultades con el tema de tráfico, tiempo, conectividad. Este, no, yo agradezco mucho eso. El grupo es, es bastante bueno, a pesar de que a veces varios están como oyentes, pero este, en, en sus dificultades, la mayoría siempre intenta participar y yo valoro bastante eso. Así que ya estamos un par de clases, ya casi estamos por terminar. Sí, ¿No qué rápido. Rápido se Ay, va. Qué triste. Así es, Vicky. Así que ánimo, ¿ok? Eh, nos vemos. Gracias. Luna, ¿okay? Pasa feliz noche. Bueno, un gusto. Gracias. Bye bye. Gracias, igual. Bye bye.